Hi, this is Angela at Amazing Kids, sharing something really cool that I learned today over in the Toby Dynavox community uh, Facebook group. Did you know that you can program a button to open a specific thing within their Board Maker Student Center? Um, I already knew that you could go over to the dashboard and open Board Maker Activities. But then you have to go through all these files and things are embedded within files within files within files and it just kind of takes a while to get to stuff. So instead of doing that, I thought this was really cool. So um, most of those would fit under topics. And so for example, the tools that they have in their math file folder fit very nicely under games. And so I programmed buttons to open the dice Six. Isn't that cool? So you could do participating in playing a game and then talk about the game. And they have one with two dice. Eleven. They have color dice. Red. And they have spinners. Red. They have a number spinner. Five. Uh, then they actually have some games in there. There's one that's a memory game. And you can go into the settings here and choose your grid size. So you can make it as easy or hard as you want. And you can choose what topic. So say I had a kid who was really into vehicles. I might pick that one. Um. have a face up matching game so you could talk about things being the same uh, then they have a target practice and again you can change all the settings in that there's a whack-a-mole and that's adjustables too and you have other characters that you can choose uh, there's even a cute feed the animal game that's real sad. And then there was this go find the pairs that are the same for go go words. Uh, then back over under topics, there were some that fit nicely under reading all those uh, core first books that they have. So like this one, go 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 go. And you can also tap go, go, on words go. to have them read. So I thought that was cool. So I put a bunch of those already. That way they're quick. And kids could use these independently to read. It takes a bit whenever you first open one up. Um, but how cool is that that kids could independently look at these themselves? And then lastly, under calendar... I put that so in March. March 17, St. Patrick's Day. And then you have options here. So if you wanted to X out the dates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17. So if you had a kid that needed that as a support, that looked helpful as well. Anyway, I thought it was a really fun idea and didn't know before today that you could actually program it to open a very specific thing. Hope this is helpful to you too.